Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Crystal Core Radio Pro uh, Project Podcast. It is what it is. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. We got a roundtable here with us today. Mike from Ready Check Radio, Giant Bomb. Thank you so much for coming back. On Not the Giant show today, Bomb. Sir. Oh, no, I wish, brother. Right. MMO Bomb. MMO Bomb. There it is. Yeah. I, I'm a it's a broadcast where we it's, just poke you and see if you right, like right. everything. Do you know your own resume? Let's test you. It's like, all right, guys. Yes, excellent. <laughs> and Chili from Moogle Go Round Radio, how are you doing, sir? I'm not doing bad, thank you. All right. Chris, what's going on with you, dude? We'll start with you. Um, not a lot this week. It's just, it's been busy in work, and uh, I'm sitting down to play some 14 later today. All I'm right. Excited. That's the plan. Very nice, very nice. Are you gonna are you gonna just play that privately, or are you gonna? Yeah. Uh, all right. Okay. I'd like cool. to just consume some games. All right. I've been thinking Mike, about driving you? into this like Hell Divers game that I keep hearing so much dude. about, and I haven't done it. And I'm oh my gosh, fun. I'm afraid I'm gonna dude. lose my life if I no fun if I like it. Dude, do it. Just it's jump such into a good Divers, man. Yeah, do and it. You, play yeah, it, please. Let me know whenever. <laughs> like anytime you're like, I'm thinking I'm gonna boot this up and play it. Just please text me because I would love uh, to jump in and play with you. It's it is. It is a game that's great, and then it's even better when you have friends that you're playing with. So I can't praise it enough. Mike, what are you playing? You playing some Hell Divers too, or what's going on with you? Playing some Hell Divers too. Obviously, playing some Rebirth. Uh, yes. That's that's been my offline. Uh, I actually have a few hours to game, so I'm just gonna chill, relax, play some Rebirth. Talked about it yesterday in the podcast. But so here's a bigger piece of news, not video game related for okay. me personally. March nineteenth mark it on your calendars if you play or are even remotely interested in final fantasy the trading card game okay. which i find a way to bring up on every show brian that you have me on and i appreciate being here chris it's always love you much love to that guy and chili we've been like circling for years knowing each other but i think this is yeah. the first time we've actually gotten to do a show together so i'm very excited um anyway march 19th i will be on uh square enix's official stream uh for the reveal of the new hidden hope set uh, a couple of days before it comes out a couple of days after pre-release so people should have a few cards in hand if they went to a couple events i'll be hanging out with the square nx team on their twitch so yeah hook it up march That's 19th amazing. Uh, square nx twitter or twitch congratulations sorry. on that though congratulations hey, thank you. yeah congrats dude that's that's huge so that's yeah, gonna be exciting all right chili what are you uh what's going on with you what you playing sir I've been playing a lot of Rebirth, actually. Um, we've been playing on stream. We're about 30 hours into the game, and it feels like we're like nowhere near. The, yeah, like, so you finished the Grasslands. Good I job. Hear it's, I hear it's <laughs> massive. <laughs> like, it feels like yeah, an it, old school like RPG in which it's like, you got 70 hours? Here's what, you know, here you go. That's what I, that's what I, at least I feel from some of the sentiment I see online. Do you feel like that? I think is, so. Uh, it feels fun massive like the issue with a lot of big games nowadays for me is like i get bored of the open world because i have no desire to explore it but there's mm. something magical about magical about this open world that i feel like i just want to explore and i'm enjoying exploring i don't feel forced to explore i feel like yeah there's stuff over there if you want to go over there you can go do that you don't have to it's there we've done it maybe you want to go over there look that's good there's stuff we're not going to tell you to go over. You don't have to, but if you want to, and that, that feels to. good. <laughs> it does feel good. I, um, I always enjoy that that exploration for sure. I I will say though, big thank you to Square Enix though for providing us a code at Moogle Go Round. Uh, we actually got a code for Fantasy Seven Rebirth from Square nice. Enix themselves. So awesome, thank you. Dude. Awesome, awesome. All right, and uh, I think obviously let's just kind of jump into a little bit of the news that we have going into uh, this week. Uh, if you guys, it, the unfortunate news is Akira Toriyama uh, has passed away. Uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Quest, uh, so uh, Chrono Trigger. That was something yeah. that it's like when you start to really think about the games that define me. My introduction to him was through Dragon Quest. Uh, and that in and of itself was just something that to this day, like I will always be grateful for his his style uh, and, you know, his characters. And here we are, obviously, like, you know, just kind of mourning the loss of uh, him on both gaming, but also his storytelling and uh, so much more. I figured, let, yeah, everybody kind of weigh in on any kind of thoughts. Mike, do you have uh, any thoughts, especially about his Yeah, impact? when I when this broke last night, that was so sad. So sad. I'm not a huge Dragon Ball fan, but even it's like saying I'm not a huge Beatles fan either, right? I, I'm just, that's just not me. But I can recognize the impact on an industry or that 
those types of creators have. Um, for me, yes, it was Chrono Trigger. Uh, and I still believe to this day, and I will die on this hill, that Blue Dragon is one of the most underrated mm -hmm. RPGs of all time. I absolutely love it. And he did the art for that, too. I mean, it's this was incredibly sad last night. Chris. Uh, I mean, Dragon Ball was the bigger impact yeah. to me. Um, I, I will say, like, looking for kind of the silver lining with this, it is a good reminder of just how old this industry is like he wasn't an old guy um you know relatively youthful but like the fact that we have 68 and 70 year old people who have have made an impact on this industry is just kind of a reminder of like how far we've come and and what all we've seen um just because sometimes it still feels like we're still kids so this this still feels like a very young industry when we talk about you know everything from even just the modern definition of anime and, and video games, like it doesn't, it doesn't feel that long ago to me yeah. that I was playing like quest 64 and, you know, and sitting around with an eight 30 bedtime. And so when you think back to these games, um, you know, as you see the gameplay on screen here, like it's just a reminder of just how much of an impact they've had over how many people and how many years. Absolutely. Chili, you got any thoughts? Yeah, I, didn't really get into like Chrono Trigger and all that, that because of, you know, being in the UK. But Dragon Ball Z was pretty much the only anime that I really watched because it's one of, one of the few that actually made it here. Like, and so the impact that has had on me and on the entertainment 